this is me. Sophomore in college, majoring in people pleasing. <sighs> my parents are really cool. They're like the biggest supporters of my channel. Mom, dad, what's up? They never intended this, but looking back, I was definitely just doing it for them. And listen, I don't know much, but I can tell you with great certainty that living your life for someone else, even if you really, really like them, doesn't work. Later that year, I remember driving somewhere with a good view of the sunset, sitting on top of my 1986 Mocha Brown Volvo sedan, and thinking, I'm just living somebody else's life. Garden beds are coming along. And so I quit. I dropped out of college and started working at Target. It was wobbly and anything but linear, and I still don't have it all figured out. I kept going. Figuring out what my values are, how I want to spend my time, and not looking around and considering other people and what they think so much. At its core, to me, that's minimalism. It's a tool that helps us live our lives the way we choose to. You get to define what enough is. No one else. And that, to me, is what's allowed us to now experience more financial freedom. I stopped spending my money to fit in, to look a certain way, to keep up with the Joneses, because this is what matters. You have to get people-pleasing, comparison, the American dream that's not even actually really your dream, out of your system. And minimalism allowed me to strengthen that muscle that I didn't have before. Minimalism is not about aesthetic. It's not about perfection. You definitely don't have to have white walls, uh, forego holidays, and never buy things that are just fun and make you happy. But the kids got a new play kitchen today, and there's little play eggs. Play eggs. <laughs> yes. Anyways, this is not where it's gonna go. It's, it's this. Being content in who we are and what we have changes everything. So yes, practically we paid off all our debt. We drive a used car, renting a house that's only 25% of our take home pay, shopping mostly secondhand, not all, definitely not all secondhand, eating at home. Unrelated, my sourdough starter made it back from Hawaii. Oh, what happened to this cookie? Could have been the fact that I didn't follow the recipe. Still good. Not having any credit cards and doing a budget saved us $100,000. But way more important than any of that, freedom from our personal possessions means we get to homeschool our kids. We went to Hawaii for eight months last year. Kyle can quit the job that he doesn't love. And we can pour time into this YouTube channel all because we have freedom. Freedom from things. The Bible says the borrower is slave to the lender. So get your life back. If you're able to obtain that freedom, you can live the life you were created for. I hope that my story inspires you to do what matters to you in your life, to spend your time living your days the way you choose to. Take comfort in the fact that you don't have to get it all right. You don't have to have a total transformation. You just have to do the next right thing. It's not easy, but it is so deeply satisfying to look back and look ahead and know that you're on the right path. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you're new here, my name is Maddie and I create videos about minimalism and slow living every week. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel grow and subscribe for more content like this. See you in my next video.